In tonight's Project Safe Schools, a record number of school resource officers and administrators were at Tulsa Tech today training to recognize potential threats and respond before tragedy occurs. Organizers with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office credit an influx of state funding thanks to a recently passed bill. Two News Oklahoma Steph Manchin went to the training and learned what goes into it. Three people lost their children today. It's hard to imagine. Over a year ago, elementary school children in Nashville hid from an active shooter walking their hallways. Those active shooter drills once in place for if it happens. Now they're there to prepare for when it does. Terrifying situations like this are why Oklahoma school resource officers and leaders learn the best ways to protect their kids from any threat at any time. Our children are our biggest asset in any community, so we want to provide that safety for our students so that they can spend their time learning and not being in fear of what might happen when they go to school. Nearly 160 officers stationed at a school district across the state discussing a variety of issues that go on in and around Oklahoma classrooms. From applying a tourniquet to relationship building with kids and admin, and even the mental health of an officer. It's not just the kids and their safety, it's also the officer's health and safety as well. Sergeant Brandon Hendricks with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office says the annual training is put into practice every day. It's even saved lives. We've had cases here in Tulsa County that I've personally been a part of, and the student had a lot of negative events happen in his life, and so we were able to intervene in that student Student's life, redirect him, get him involved in some sports teams at his school, get him involved in some extracurricular activities, and getting some counseling. And I said, he's a successful kid now. Hendricks says if it wasn't for that relationship building with officers being present in schools, that situation could have had a much different ending. School officers and administrators will be here through Wednesday, committed to learning how to better serve and protect their kids in their districts. Reporting in Tulsa, Steph Manchin, 2 News, Oklahoma. Organizers credit the passing of House Bill 2903 for the funding it provides every school district with a school resource officer.